Good evening, Tusky Valley families. I'm Mrs. Colombo, and this is <laughs> yeah, Cora. Cora. And we want to say thank you to Grandma Patsy <laughs> and the Outer Banks for sending this book of Madeline stories to Cora for Christmas. <laughs> and this is one we're going to share with you this evening. Yeah. And an old house in Paris that was covered with vines. Lived 12 little girls in two straight Fine. lines. In two straight lines, they broke their bread. And went to bed. And brushed their teeth. And, and went to bed. They went to bed. They smiled at the good and they frowned at the bad. They frowned at the bad. What, what are those? I think those are bad guys. Did you he, frown at a bad guy? He dropped the coins. He is dropping coins. And sometimes they were very sad. They left their house at half past nine in true straight lines. In the rain or shine, the smallest one was Madeline. Madeline, there she is. She's the smallest little girl. She was not afraid of mice. She loved winter, snow, and ice. And then she loved the tiger. Yeah, so to the tiger at the zoo, Madeline just said, poo, poo, poo. poo. Was she afraid of the tiger? No. No, she was very brave, wasn't she? And nobody knew so well how to frighten Miss Clavel. In the middle of one night, Miss Clavel turned on her light and she said, Something is not right. Nothing, nothing's right. Little Madeline sat in bed, cried and cried. Her eyes were red. And soon after, Dr. Cohn came. Why is, why is her um, dropping tears dropping on her bed? No, she's not feeling well. Why? Her tummy hurts. Why? Don't you remember what happens? And yes, you do. Watch, I'll bet you remember. And soon after Dr. Cohn came, he rushed out to the phone. Nurse, he said, it's an appendix. Everybody had to cry. Not a single eye was dry. Madeline was in his arm in a blanket, safe and warm. In a car with a red light, they drove out into the night. Madeline woke up two hours later in a room with flowers. Pot yeah, pot of flowers, yes. Madeline soon ate and drank. On her bed, there was a crank. And then there was a bunny. Yes, so the crank I on the ceiling. Hey, you bunny, I'm taking you home. Had the Got habit. the shadow, throw it in my home. You're going to take the rabbit shadow? And sometimes it looked like a rabbit. Outside were birds, trees, and sky, and so ten days passed quickly by. One nice morning, Miss Clavel said, Isn't this a fine day to visit? Madeline! Visitors from two to four read a sign outside her door, tiptoeing with solemn face with some flowers in a vase. And they walked and then said, ah, when they saw the toys and candy and the dollhouse from Papa. But the biggest surprise by far on her stomach was a scar. Her scar when getting her appendix out. Goodbye, they said, we'll come again. And the little girls left in the rain. They, they broke, went. They broke their bed and brushed their teeth and go to bed. You are exactly right. They did. They went home, they broke their bread, they brushed their teeth. Went to bed. They did. In the middle of the night, Miss Clavel turned on her light and said something, something not, not right. right. And afraid of a disaster. Miss Clavel ran fast and faster. And every and she said, children is 
crying because they want to get their pancakes out. You are exactly right. And she said, please, children, do tell me what is troubling Ryu. And all the little girls cried, Poo hoo we want to have our appendix out too. They want to too, that's not gonna hurt. You don't think it's gonna hurt? Good night, little girls. Thank the Lord you are well. And now go to sleep, said Miss Clavel, and she turned out the light and closed the door, and that's all there is. There isn't any more. You wanna tell everyone good night? Good night.